front at four. Pay a fee and have clothes, toys, beauty products delivered to your door. Stitch Fix, Birch Box, and others have added to a growing industry, the subscription box service. Last year, the top 10 companies in the subscription box industry made more than $500 million. Lindsay Thies shows us how Omahans are cashing in on the box biz. Well, we are here at the offices for Dungeon Crate. It is a crate subscription service for Dungeons and Dragons fans. And this is just one of several different Omaha companies that are getting in on the subscription box craze. And it's a craze that is just going to keep on growing. Take a look. This is what we got in one box. Kate Bacon spends about 50 bucks a month on subscription box services from cat themed gifts to beauty products. And I kind of am into um, doing facial masks. So this you get, I don't remember how many masks every month. This is one month's worth. It's folks like Kate for why the box business is becoming a big cash cow. And it's a pretty successful business model too. Of the hundreds of beauty boxes that have popped up since 2012, only eight have gone under. Of the 150 plus food boxes, only 16 have been canceled. Omahans have started their own businesses too. Tanya Ludwig started 621 Gifts out of her West Omaha home. It features Midwest mom and pop treats. And inside the master craft in Nodo, a toy box for the niche nerd. Oh, okay. Something like that. Wayne and Lori Brecky and Bill Harvat have started Dungeon Crate. For $39.95, each monthly box has contents for fans of Dungeons and Dragons, a fantasy board game. It is a renewing subscription each month. You can sign up for one month, you can sign up for three, six. For these businesses, it's total startup, a lot of DIY. For the Dungeon Crate folks, family and friends helped pack the boxes that they shipped out this morning. A lot of work because of the success. It even surprised the owners when they launched their box last month. We, we were actually hoping for 200, just 200 for the first month. That was our big goal. Gosh, if we could hit that, that'd be great. We got that the first day. Now these guys plan to grow to other niche services. And with subscribers like Bacon Waiting, it's a new way of business, a model that's thinking outside of the box. The experts say if you think you want to try out a couple of different subscription box services, make sure you take a look at what their different policies are. That way, if you try one and then you lose interest after a couple of months, you're not stuck paying month after month for something that you don't want. We're at the Mastercraft building. Lindsay Thies for Upfront at 4. Looked outside today and thought the sun is shining. It's nice.